They're ready. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Nephilim to Xanthus Gaming. We're here today in the Challenge Rift for the European side of things. It is Challenge Rift 87, I believe. Wow. Boy, how time flies. Uh, we are going to be working with a Whirlwind Spin to Win Barbarian who is focusing on upping his lightning damage as much as possible. He's missing quite a few pieces, but it does seem like a pretty easy build. You have your Mantle Channeling and you have your Skull, cra skull Grasp. You also have a Band of Might, so you gotta remember to charge to proc that off or to use Ground Stomp or Leap, but we don't have Ground Stomp or Leap, so we have to charge. So make sure you're charging to pop that off. Make sure you're keeping your Wrath of Berserker up. I'm just gonna numlock it, honestly. And then pop your Avalanche when you come to Elites and you're having trouble killing them. You can also stop and hold Shift and Lacerate. Shift and left click to Lacerate while you're Whirlwinding. And then you're good to go. And it's a pretty easy rift. Let's go ahead and get on into it after we have a chance to look at the map for just a second. All right, here we go. Let's go on into it here. So I'm going to shout right away. I'm going to charge right away. And then I'm just going to start spinning to win. You also have Wreath of Lightning. So you'll have moments where you're moving a lot faster than other times. That's just kind of the nature of the situation of the build that we're running. But it's fine. It works out just okay. It's not a big deal. Um, we're going to just make sure we charge as often as needed to keep our buff up. Because if that falls, we're going to take a lot of damage. Otherwise, it's just kind of a matter of rotating through your different abilities and killing elites that way. And just keep moving. You can use your uh, charge as a mobility skill. Uh, but just make sure you don't let it drop. Don't let that uh, band of might drop. Don't use it too many times. Because if you use it too many times and you don't have the cooldown when you need it, it's uh, bad news bears. So there's a nice 90s reference for you guys conduit pylon and we're going to move on forward to the next floor the next floor is pretty good the third floor is where we get really great progress though second floor is not bad we're gonna have an elite coming up here right around this first corner i'm just going to kind of spin through stuff as quick as i can to get over to him because i would like to use my pylon on him if at all possible there we go he's down and i'm going to charge through to keep moving pylon is still popping off so we'll keep going through Kidding as much trash as we can with it. It looks like it just ended. We have another elite here, so we'll go ahead and get him down. He is shielding, so if he shields on you, don't run into his arcane cutters like I just did. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. Make sure you avoid his arcane cutters, but then I didn't do that, so my bad, boys, my bad. All right, we're back in the game. No big deal. You can take a death, maybe two, and still hit the timer. It's not that big of a deal. I think this is a dead end. I don't know why I went down there. I knew it before I did it, too. I even have the map, boys. I'm still messing up. All right, let's move down this way. We have our channeling pylon here. It's going to allow us to keep our cooldowns going a lot better. We can charge a lot more often for that mobility piece that we were talking about earlier. And more importantly, we could just drop our cooldowns like crazy on these guys and just keep moving from elite to elite. We got some nice trash down here I'm going to clear off and then I'm going to come back up this way because there's another elite right here. And again, just popping my cooldowns, bursting them down as much as possible. Your Ren does do a good amount of damage, so using it's not a terrible idea. Uh, we should have another elite right down here, so let's go ahead and get him. Our channeling pylon did just end, so we no longer have that for our mobility, but we got some good use out of it while we could. We'll move up this way. It's going to take us back kind of in the direction that we started, but there's a path over here to some more elites. So we're going to go ahead and take that down this way. Uh, I'm going to kill these guys before I go, though, because they're pretty good progression. And then we're going to come back up and look for the elite. I thought I had charged there, but I didn't. All right, there we go. And just keep moving through, killing elites as we can. We should have a speed pylon right here. Click that bad boy and kill these big guys. They are good progression. And then there should be two more elites here that we can kill to get the Rift Guardian. This one actually might do it on its own. We might not need the other one. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get them anyway. Okay, never mind. We're good. And then we just have the boss that we got to kill. Make sure you keep your charge up as always. And just kind of spin through them. Avoid his melee and you should be good to go. 
The melee does hit hard. I haven't tested if you can tank it or not. I'd rather not. <laughs> All right, and that's the challenger for a week, guys. Hopefully, it's pretty easy for you guys. Hopefully the map helps you. I thought it was a pretty easy one. Make sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you guys next week. Bye Twitch, bye YouTube, bye Reddit.